I'm here in downtown Idaho, Oklahoma. I've never really walked down, never even, I've driven through here, but I've never walked around in here. So I figured I might as well give everybody a tour while I take a tour myself. Sunday afternoon, uh, about 3.30, doesn't look like anybody's out. I'm assuming that's the courthouse. Like it says, it says law office. Uh, I was backing up almost. Fell off the curb there, better be careful. Guy, bail bondsman across the street. Another lawyer. I guess Idabel must be the place where all the people uh, get in trouble around here. Come for a lawyer. It's not a very big town. Uh, according to my mother's cousin, it's a bad population of 17,000. People that are driving by are looking at me like I'm kind of some kind of weird guy. Like, you find Ida Bell interesting? <laughs> like, what are you doing? This place is boring, I guess. That's probably what they're thinking. Well, it's kind of, you know, I mean, you don't go, not everybody gets to see little towns like this, right? I do, because I travel all the time, but, you know, might as well. Make some video. upstairs pediatrician I want to go over here and take a picture of this building Medical spa. Uh, hopefully, people that are from here that are just curious if anybody posts the video will see this and appreciate that I put it on on YouTube for them. There's a lot of dispensaries in Oklahoma. It's uh, medical marijuana, med well, only medically legal here currently. And uh, yeah, 
there's a lot of dispensaries. That's all I got to say. I've been, I just uh, came from California, uh, Sacramento area. There's a lot more dispensaries in Oklahoma than I've seen in California. Idabel Chamber of Congress, oh, Commerce and Agriculture. at the Idabel Farmer's Market here. I do believe there were some people selling some stuff there the other day. Not many people uh, when we drove by. Well, the other day, it was yesterday. Today, Sunday, it was yesterday. I believe the name of the, fe the festival they had downtown yesterday was called the Dogwood Festival. I'll uh, double check on that. That's why you see a lot of trash in the trash cans, but other than that, downtown is clean. They didn't leave a mess. Yeah, just about every trash can is full around here. Uh, mental Health Center. I think we could use more of those. I looked to the right when I crossed the street there, but I didn't look to the left. I better pay more attention. Day and every day I'm making a video and I'm going focusing on both, I guess. Crying, kid. Yeah. Oh, pawn shop. I seen some guns in there and I was like, what's this? The Curtain Daily Gazette. Computer repair store. And this colorful building. Ice cream shop, but it doesn't look like it's in business. I don't know. Nope, it's not. It's closed down. It says Central Hardware, but I don't think it's open either. A lot of closed businesses. No surprise there. Small town. This is the old part of town, then... Uh, I'm not gonna walk too much farther. Oh yeah. man, we got a couple churches there. Or no, I guess it's just one big church. Yeah. Semi-big church. Here we go. This is an interesting building. Whoop. Almost backed off the curb again. Fell down. No, well, almost fell down by backing off the curb. No 
Okay. Across the street. Southwest Times. I wonder what that is. Or Southeast Times. No idea. Have to look it up. Maybe I can get an idea if I do a web search. Cutting edge hair salon. Oh, that's a. Isn't there like a million of those? Cutting edge. All these little towns come up with that same name. It seems like, or one very similar to it. That, I guess, would wrap up my tour of downtown Idabel. So I turned off, came from that direction, and now we're gonna go over here. Don't know what that was. Oh, it says dance class. Looks like somebody might be staying in there. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's see what do we have here? Behavioral health counseling. Okay. Professional computer and cell phone repair. And we have an, a shoe store that is actually in business. Good. And I've seen this one here. Southwest Guns and Outdoors. Yeah, gun shop. I like gun shops. Well, I like to look at guns. But in a way, I don't like going in gun shops. Because all it does is make me want to buy things that I don't need. I mean, when you see a really pretty gun or... I don't know. Those Kimber... Those little Kimber... Uh, uh, 1911s? Little 9 millimeters? I don't know. What are they? 7 or 8 rounds? They're pretty little guns. Beautiful. I look at them and I want to buy one so bad, but mm, I got better things to be putting my money on. Oh, didn't even notice this place right here. There is a clothing store right there that is open. I don't think I've ever come down into Idabel like this before, even when I when I was younger. I've been to I've been to Hayworth and Idabel oh six or so times I guess. Counting this one. The Red Bee Restaurant.
It is a pretty warm day today. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and I'm sweating. Wish I had a pair of shorts on. Oh, by the way, it's April 2nd. No, today's the third. April 3rd. I'm not going to take the time to read all this, but if anybody wants to, hopefully it's uh, clear enough. I guess these are people who are from this area, who are from McCurtain County, who died in World War II. It's a list of all the people. Memory of those who made the supreme sacrifice. This tribute is dedicated to everlasting peace by the Ida Bell Arms of America. Original memorial erected 1950, destroyed by a tornado and replaced in 1973. Desert Storm and Desert Shield. 